question today is why is lettering in comic books a sublime and invisible art and um, it, it definitely should be invisible in, in the sense that when you go to a movie or you watch a show on TV um, you're not necessarily um, conscious of hearing dialogue or sound effects you don't really know that the Foley artist is there you don't really know that there is an orchestra behind that score but you're um, absorbing the story you're absorbing the narrative and all the elements work together um, I like to quote um, my old friend David Kasahara who was a Buddhist leader in New York and he told a story of coming to New York not being able to speak English and uh, working as a dishwasher in a restaurant and he wanted as a Buddhist to give a hundred percent to his role as a, a dishwasher and um, he said that um, he concentrated on making the knives and forks uh, so clean and shiny uh, that people would subconsciously return to the restaurant not because the food was so good not because the service was so great but because the knives and forks uh, were so clean and uh, I think the role of a comic book letter is very much like uh, a dishwasher um, we're not really aware that the dishwasher's in the back there unless he messes up um, so you know you really need to focus on all the disciplines that you bring as a comic book letterer whether they be you know sympathy to the, the line of the artist's work sympathy to placement sympathy to the story that the writer is going to tell and um, you've got to do everything as if you're not really there um, and, and when you can do that when um, people aren't noticing the lettering uh, you've done a good job I think